Mercedes is celebrating six world premieres here at the Geneva Motor Show 2019. What are the cars in detail and what they deliver? Let's find out now. In January, Mercedes presented the new CLA at the CS. Now, here in Geneva, they show the slightly more practical variant, the CLA Shooting Brake. So I'm together with Gordon Wagner, Chief Design Officer of Daimler. Gordon, I have a question. You just presented the CLA in Las Vegas. Now we, find, we, we see the Shooting Brake. What is the big difference between the two of cars? Well, the new CLA, which we just presented in um, Las Vegas, is a design icon. It's a very important car for us, as it's a very expressive car that looks like a design sketch. And now, of course, uh, we are bringing the shooting, shooting brake variant, which again, for us as designer, is a great car because it is an over-exaggerated piece of design, a rolling work of art like Dieter uh, Zetscher just uh, mentioned it in the press conference. I feel very honored about that. But this is exactly what it is. It's a beautiful, emotional, sexy car that offers a lot of functionality. And now the new car has been grown in dimensions, it has more wheelbase, it is wider, um, longer overhang, and so it offers way more functionality than the predecessor. When we talk about the interior of the car, have you managed to put the same, let's say, emotion and passion into the interior here with this, let's say, estate or sporty estate? Yeah, I think so. If you look inside, I think there's a level of luxury and quality that ha is unreached in that segment. This is truly the modern luxury car in this segment um, for Mercedes-Benz as a leading luxury brand. And, and not only that, it's also the most progressive interior in the segment, especially as we have the big uh, MBUX system in there with two times um, 10 inch displays, free floating displays with MBX, the latest, greatest operating system in the industry on it. And um, that seriously makes this car a truly uh, mobile device. When we talk about the, the last vision, I was not a big fan of the last one, but um, how hard is it to get this emotion, this passion into this kind of an estate regarding to the design? Well, it's not an estate, it's a shooting brake. And actually the first one, uh, the predecessor was a very iconic car too, which uh, brought us like 80% new customers, very young target group, 30 years of age. So that car really expanded the boundaries of Mercedes. And so again, for us, it was it's a great opportunity that we can, um, uh, yeah, not just do an estate, that we can do a design-oriented shooting brake that has really the focus on emotion, on beauty, um, but also, of course, yeah, on functionality as well. So uh, that's what I believe makes this concept so successful. The combination of the slim headlamps and the radiator grill with a central star creates the typical Mercedes-Benz sport car's face. At the rear, the splitted thin taillights and the license plate inside of the bumper with a seamless transition between the bumper and the tailgate are creating a look like the rear of the GT. Overall, the new shooting brake is 48 mm longer, 53 wider and 2 mm lower than its predecessor. The now sportier look can be reinforced with up to 19 inch wheels. The trunk of the CLA shooting brake now holds 505 liters and so 10 liters more than its predecessor. In addition, the tailgate width increases to 87 cm, a plus of almost 24 cm. The current top engine of the CLA shooting brake is a 2-liter 4-cylinder petrol engine with 165 kilowatts or 220 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque. This direct injection engine powers the front wheels of the CLA 250 via a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. However, when the new shooting brake will celebrate its market launch in September, there will be a wide range of engines with manual or automatic gearboxes and front or four-wheel drive powertrains available. A real highlight for people who love SUVs and power is the first AMG version of the new GLE series, which is the AMG GLE 53 Formatic Plus. And I can promise you that car features an engine that gives you enough power to have real fun with that powerhouse. The Mercedes-AMG GLE 53 Formatic Plus is the first performance model of the new GLE series. On board? A 3-liter straight 6 with 320 kilowatts or 435 horsepower. A fully variable 4-wheel drive and the AMG SpeedShift 9-speed automatic gearbox. And thanks to the EQBoost starter generator, there are additional 16 kilowatts of power as well as 250 newton meters of torque available for a short time. The result? The sprint from 0 to 100 km per hour succeeds in only 5.3 seconds. The sporty designed front and rear bumper as well as rims up to 22 inches are providing the right look. 
So next to me now is Tobias Merz, CEO of um, AMG. Tobias, I have a question. This is the first AMG out of the new GLE series. But what makes that now available as a seven-seater SUV, a real AMG? I think the seven seat is not the most important thing of that car, but you know it's it's the successor of the GLE 43, which was really successful around the planet. Uh, it's a six-cylinder, it's 320 kilowatt, uh, a lot of horsepower, so, and you know driving dynamics in that generation is on a total different level than the previous car. When we talk about driving dynamics of that, let's say heavy SUV, what have you done to give the car the kick? It's a total different kinematic, or axles are total different kinematic compared to the predecessor. And uh, we added electric supported anti-roll stabilization in that car, new suspension, everything new from our side. Um, and you know, it's, it's a lot of fun to drive that car on a country road and even on a race day. After around three years, Mercedes presents the modernized version of the Mercedes GLC in Geneva. The exterior of the mid-side SUV was only gently redesigned. And so the GLC now comes as standard with new slightly smaller full LED headlamps as well as a new grille. In addition, new over the entire length of the vehicle running chrome elements shown at the sides of the SUV. Depending on the trim level and the engine, the sporty look is underlined by 17 to 19 inch wheels. At the rear, it now features the new LED taillights and a revised bumper. The new GLC will also be equipped with the next generation of four-cylinder petrol and diesel engines. Thanks to the 48-volt technology, the petrol engines now produce 197 up to 258 horsepower. The diesel engines achieving a power range between 163 to 245 horsepower. The GLC now also features the latest version of the Mercedes-Benz user experience MBUX, including improved voice and gesture control. It now also features the new optional 12.3-inch instrument cluster. Above the Santa console, multimedia displays with up to 10.25 inches are offered as touchscreens. In addition to many other innovations, the assistance systems have been also modernized. And so, now for example, track-based speed adjustments or potentially autonomous lane changes on the highways are possible. This is another world premiere here at Mercedes, which is the new concept called EQV. We're talking about a V-Class, the next generation, but this car is fully electric. It has a 100 kilowatt hour battery on board and that should deliver up to 400 kilometers of range. And very important, you can refuel it in only 50 minutes to get the next 100 kilometers of range. You can have that, that car with single seats as a seven or eight seater. And very important, we're gonna see that concept this year at the IAA in Frankfurt as the production car. In addition to a redesigned front, it now also offers new assistant and safety systems. Another new feature is the four-cylinder diesel engine OM654 with different output levels which now provides the power to the V-Class. The top model, the V300D, now features 176 kilowatts or 239 horsepower of maximum output. This Formula E concept car gives us an idea of Mercedes starting in the Formula E championship because from the season 2019-2020 onwards they will fight with their EQ technology for points in this race series. A real eye-catcher at the Mercedes booth is for sure the new AMG GTR Roadster. That car features the same engine, that means 585 horsepower as the standard AMG GTR, but topless this time. And very important, aside of the yellow brakes, that car features a very big mounted spoiler at the rear. Very important, you can adjust that one depending on how you want to drive. And very important, that car is limited to only 750 units. Smart is showing the Foris Plus, a further development of the Smart Study Foris, which was presented at the Paris Motor Show in 2018. The Smart Foris Plus is based on the Smart EQ42 convertible. With its detachable roof construction, it now offers driving pleasure for every weather condition. In addition to the unique design of the LED headlamps and the LED taillights, the rims of the Smart Foris Plus are also a real eye-catcher. That was it from the Mercedes-Benz booth here at the Geneva Motor Show 2019. They really presented a whole variety of new beautiful cars. But I have to say my absolute favorite is the AMG GTR Roadster. But for standard people like us, I really do like the new CLA shooting grade because that car looks so nice and I think a lot better than its predecessor.